Hi loves, it's Emmeline. So today we're back with another baking video. We're making pumpkin cupcakes. These were so delicious and it's perfect for the chilly weather we've been having. I'm currently wrapped up in a blanket because it is so cold. So I wanted to share with you guys the pumpkin cupcake recipe, but first, in one of the other vintage recipe books I found, I found this easy pumpkin cake recipe. So if you guys wanna try that one out, you guys can pause the video and screenshot that recipe. But the one we're gonna be using today comes from the American Family Cookbook from 1963, and this is the recipe. So first we're preheating our oven to 350 degrees. So first in a bowl, we're gonna be adding in half a cup of shortening, one cup of brown sugar and half a cup of granulated sugar. So I'm just gonna take my mixer and mix this together. So once your mixture starts to get combined, it should look something more like this. So once we have that, we can now start to add in some more ingredients. So next I'm adding in one egg. The recipe also says you could add in one egg or two egg yolks, um, but I just did one egg. And next I'm adding in three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree, the star of the show. It is so yummy. Sometimes I just like to eat it from the can because it's that good. So I'm just mixing this together. And once this is fully combined, we can switch out this bowl for a new one and we're gonna combine all of the dry ingredients together. In this bowl, I'm adding in two cups of flour a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm mixing this all together. The recipe also calls for two thirds of a cup of chopped nut meats. I'm not really sure what they mean by that. I'm just assuming they mean nuts but I didn't add any in just because I like mine plain. So now we're going back to our wet mixture and we're gonna add in some of the dry, mix it up, and then we're gonna add in our sour milk. So when I saw the recipe called for sour milk, I wasn't sure what that meant, so I looked it up online. I assumed it maybe meant buttermilk, but when I looked it up online, it actually is different or slightly different than buttermilk. So to make sour milk from home, you would take one cup of milk to one teaspoon of vinegar and you let it sit for five minutes and then you just take the amount that you need and you put it in the recipe. So this recipe calls for one third cup of sour milk. So I just made that and added that into the recipe. So now we just combine all of the ingredients until the batter is fully mixed. Connor just popped out of the bedroom and said, you don't know what sour milk is? Everyone knows what that is. I guess I am just alone in not knowing what sour milk is, but I learned, so that is what I did. And he said they do sell it at the grocery store. So just a heads up for you guys, you can buy it. So now our batter is done. It smells just like the Bath and Body Works candle. I think it's called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Something like that, we have it in the house and it smells just like this batter, it's amazing. So now I'm taking my cupcake tray and I got these wrappers from the grocery store. I thought they were pretty impressive for the grocery store because they normally they just have the basic ones. I like these ones because you can still see the color wrapper when they bake and they're very opaque and I just like that a lot. So I'm just lining my cupcake tin this recipe made about 16 to 15 cupcakes. I don't really remember for sure, but it was just slightly over a dozen. So I'm just placing a heaping tablespoon of the batter into these tins. And this recipe doesn't really like rise too much and overflow. Usually pumpkin cupcakes um, kind of hold their shape. So you don't have to worry about overfilling these. 
So now it's time to place them in the oven. I'm still loving these fall dish towels that I got. If you guys saw my video from last week, I did a fall night routine and I decorated the house. So I love these little dish towels. I think they're so cute. So these cupcakes took about 16 minutes to bake. They were super quick and I honestly just love making pumpkin cupcakes because they are so simple and so easy. So now for the frosting, I'm just taking one stick of butter, half a stick of cream cheese, which is four ounces, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm gonna mix this together until it is creamed. Once it's creamed, I'm adding in one cup of confectioner sugar. I just added in half a cup to start, that way all of the sugar doesn't blow up in my face because this stuff can get very messy. So of course you guys can double this recipe if you need more, but there was actually a lot of frosting still left over, so I think that this was a pretty good amount. So next I'm just adding in a splash of milk to help everything combine, and that is it for the frosting. You can put this in a piping bag if you want and use that to frost, but I usually just like to spread cream cheese frosting on because it can be um, kind of temperamental and it tends to melt a lot. So here are the cupcakes once they're fully cooled. I think they look so adorable. So now I'm just going to frost these. I'm just taking my knife and spreading the frosting on. Nothing special. You guys can of course, like I said before, go in with piping bags, try to make fun designs. You could color the frosting orange or any other color you would like. You can even add candy corn to these. Most of the time, whenever I make pumpkin cupcakes, I usually add those little pumpkin candies on top. But for some reason this year, I was just feeling very plain and I wanted something really simple looking. But you guys can do whatever you like. This apron is such a sentimental piece for me. When Connor and I first started dating, he knew I was really into baking and vintage, and he got me this apron. It was probably one of my first vintage aprons, and it's what really sparked me into loving vintage aprons. So I blame Connor for my addiction to them, but I just thought it was so sweet, so I wanted to add that in the video. So here's what the final cupcakes look like. They taste so amazing. I actually just had one for breakfast and Connor saw my wrapper and he was like, I want one of those too. So he just ate a cupcake. They are so good. I can't wait to share them with my friends and family. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. The full recipe will be at the end of this video so you guys can feel free to screenshot that. But I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!